What a do, YouTube. This is Acid Root. So I'm going to review the collaborative project between Gucci Mane and Future. Basically, this mixtape is called Free Bricks, and it came out in the summer of 2011. Now, this is kind of like the prenatal stages of what was to morph out and come later on with 2010's Trap and such. Future was a good product of that. He was... He was kind of in his early stages throughout 2011, didn't quite have his breakout album yet with Pluto, which would come out the next year, but it was kind of in the early stages of that, and Gucci Mane was kind of going through some changes throughout 2011, kind of after dropping the Appeal album and the return of Mr. Zone 6. I think pretty much, I mean, Gucci Mane caught on to this style pretty quickly, and he was trying to get that sort of thing morphed out before he went to prison in 2013, but he kind of had a various amount of prison sentences. I actually want to say that Gucci Mane might have been in prison when this project came out. It was around this time. Gucci Mane was in prison a number of times in 2011, but this was something that he still managed to find time to do. He had a lot of projects out in 2011 between Ferrari Boys, The Return of Mr. Zone 6, some mixtapes, and this is one of which. This is definitely one of which that kind of happened. But yeah, Future was on the rise. He had dropped Dirty Sprite back in January of 2011, and he had had a hit single with the uh, Got Racks or something like that. It was a song that he did with YC. I reviewed it earlier this year. Had a number of hits. He was getting songs like Tony Montana, and like other songs like that he had like some good hits i want to say like magic was another one of those something like that but he had a number of hits that wound up later on being on like his pluto album from 2012 but he was kind of still very much on a pretty fresh mixtape grind that kind of happened throughout 2011 was just getting a lot of burgeoning hits he was just stacking onto his catalog and having like a lot of highlights that just really kind of created quite the underground craze as far as that kind of went so it was a good luck for both these cats it was just interesting because this was kind of the concept like i don't like when thinking about this project back in the day i kind of remember it by 2013 2014 but i want to say this kind of went over my head back in 2011 when that sort of stuff was happening. I do remember Gucci Mane's Ferrari Boys around this time, and I remember the return of Mr. Zone 6, but this is kind of one that was more in the trenches that I just didn't catch on to back at the time. I think I was probably thinking back in like July, August of 2011, like who is Future? I don't know really who that is because he just is on a more mixtape kind of grind and stuff. I just look after it. It definitely is a pretty heralded project. I think this one kind of had some revolution towards it because when I was thinking that like 2010's trap kind of manifested in like very late 2012 throughout the first few months of 2013 there was actually some stages of it like folks like Mike Will made it and even Drummer Boy had kind of a new sound on here and Shoddy Red and Zaytoven some of those type folks like I don't know if I said Zaytoven but Mike Will made it Drum of Boy Zaytoven Shoddy Red some of these Atlanta type producers were kind of different kind of beats from the stuff that they were cranking out back in 2008 2009 when you look at some of those like the beats that Drum of Boy gave Gucci Mane in the 2000s and stuff like that were just different from the ones that I kind of saw here and he kind of had the single on this project so the there was at least one music video there's not a ton of information about this project that's kind of the thing about it it's not like like, like it just doesn't have a Wikipedia article. Wikipedia recognizes that this project came out, but it doesn't have like a distinct article towards it. You know, Gucci Mane has a ton of mixtapes, and so do, Gucci Mane has a ton of mixtapes, and so does Future. So that's just kind of the concept. But it did at least note that there was at least one music video for this project, and I'm just going to refer to that as like the single, which is Stevie Wonder. So. <clears throat> to talk about Stevie Wonder, the single. Yeah, the first single was Stevie Wonder, and this is kind of like a pretty regular nightclub slash strip club kind of evening. I definitely feel like this is like a nice comfy bop, and it just has like a real mellow piano on this song. It's just an easy kind of regular night at like a nightclub, stuff like that. Just those sorts of hits, easy kind of strip club highlight, just kind of the concept of it's just not the rowdiest song on here. It's just such a lazy and kind of relatively relaxed, but just overall, the, the better word for it is just more comfortable kind of energy that it kind of conveys on here. It's just not like the typical like future can get pretty crazy on some of his songs too it's just kind of an interesting one just to kind of have just for like a routine where this is not like friday thursday saturday night something but this might just be monday evening at like 6 30 p.m something like that or tuesday evening at like 8 p.m this where it's not quite as crowded and that type of stuff as far as that kind of goes but i do like the concept of just being able to say that's just an overall good highlights for as that kind of goes it's an easy one so there's 13 songs on here, and out of those 13, I wound up recommending to you eight and a half. So we're going to get to these. I just would have to say there's eight and a half songs on here that I recommend. 
So the, the, the eight songs would be, and then the almost song, the eight songs I recommend would be Nasty, Stevie Wonder, Free Bricks, the title track, Lamborghini, Lost It, Go, Dead People, and Gucci Tarantino. And then the almost song is Can't Turn Me Down. So a real quick highlight on here is the intro song, Gucci Tarantino. This just has like a real nice creeping intro kind of feel towards it. It's a very mafioso type beat. This has that mafioso type groom about it. It's fancy, but it's kind of grim is like the concept of it. It's a clever concept. Like there was something like in hip hop news a couple weeks ago about some cat talking about how there needed to be a Wappenheimer off of, there needed to be a Wappenheimer off the Oppenheimer movie that came out this summer. So it's kind of the concept that this is one where Gucci Mane did use to do that back in the day with the Quentin Tarantino type thing with Gucci Tarantino. So it is kind of the concept that he was, that that cat was right, that Gucci Mane did used to do this sort of stuff. So this is kind of the concept. It's just a real haunting and kind of mafioso type one as far as that kind of goes. And there's a series of beats on here. One of the best beats on the album, I would have to say, is Nasty. One of the best beats on this project is Nasty. This just has a really glaring night venue kind of feel towards it. It's a night venue bop. It's a crunchy, it's just a crunchy kind of leery kind of groove with like some finesse on there. It's an overall glittery kind of real, like the song says, Nasty. Just a nasty kind of pulsating kind of beat that just really has like a lot of gleam towards it. It's a great song to smoke to and an easy kind of night venue highlight, I would have to say. Um, Lamborghini is a pretty nice one. This is another highlight that I really appreciate. Lamborghini is another highlight. This is another one that I really appreciate. This is like a quick tempo kind of sparkly club cut. And I feel like this is an, also a pretty good cruise cut for just being in the whip and that type of stuff. Or just kind of either a slow creep or a decent cruise as far as that kind of goes. Just an easy kind of one to kind of flex to. It's just an early 2010s kind of flex song. Before like there is this kind of it's an early 2010s kind of flex song a little bit different where things were kind of glossier Where things were kind of glossier and more flashy in that sort of sense But not quite the 2000s era flex songs as far as that kind of goes with just with a little bit more sense where Maybe you are on the verge of getting streaming services in your car and that type of stuff Or you're moving away from mixtape CDs and that type of stuff just flashier stuff where you've got more stuff where you can hook up your cell phone to your car and that type of stuff this early 2010s kind of flex song this is a real spark kind of club cut definitely like that one i feel like dead people is a pretty nice one too this one's probably one of the more lively songs on here it's just a very lively and alert kind of horror core like cut this has a real haunting piano on there and it just really feels like a three six mafia kind of song in a lot of ways it's just interesting that future and gucci main were able to do this type of song just within that concept because this is the sort of stuff that three six mafia cranks out just on like a regular basis it's one of the few songs that kind of has this horror core feel and that's the that's the situation about this project is there are a lot of stepping out kind of tunes lots of like magic city and kind of nightclub and strip club kind of feels towards it like there's a number of songs like lamborghini free bricks the title track nasty stevie wonder lost it go you know can't turn me down like a lot of these like most of this album is pretty eventful in a night of just having a pretty flashy time out just the concepts and there's some songs on here that even despite the fact that this is a mixtape and it's free have like the concept of just being like a regular night at a club like as if you go there probably 20 or 25 times out the month it kind of has that instance where it just is regular and routine that you're going out to a night venue and those type things you know, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, doesn't really matter, even despite if you have work or maybe you don't have work, just that kind of concept is very much, very much kind of early 2010s demon time type stuff. So this kind of the thing. So I would have to say, Can't Turn Me Down is an almost song. Mike Will made it, who was kind of in his earlier stages back in 2011 and such. He has a pretty good beat on here, but it's kind of an almost song for me just because the beat is not quite as wholesomely catchy. Like I like this one. It's a frenetic kind of fancy piano beat with like a nightclub feel but it's just kind of a ruffled kind of feeling this one's a little bit more turned up and kind of frenetic with with just kind of your hair is on edge and that type of stuff just a little bit more kind of out of place not quite as comfortable sounding as like some of the other ones i i mentioned like stevie wonder and that type of feel or it's not quite as comfortable as stevie wonder but i would have to say it kind of just feels very frenetic i do like the concept about it. it's just kind of a nice one for just kind of being a little bit more alert and that type of stuff or a little bit more alarmed and just kind of having a more kind of like rouse just a more rowdy time at like a nightclub or strip club something like that just kind of the concept i do like the i do i, I do like the feel of the song but it's, it's i kind of feel like the beat probably could have been a notch or two better it's this kind of thing it's pretty much 
There's not many beats on this project I didn't enjoy thoroughly, so this is kind of the concept. Can't turn me down is just one I'm kind of on the fence about. Maybe down the road I can see myself vibing with it a lot more, but it's just kind of one where it's good, but I'm kind of halfway between it. So, but yeah, to talk about Go, Go is a vanilla club hit. It's a very basic evening cut. It's more early and entry hours, I would have to say, but it is some solid jive kind of fare. I just feel like the concept behind this one is just kind of more of like a starter kit for getting ready to show up and that type of stuff. This kind of one that's just more the initial dap kind of getting and that type of stuff, the entry kind of stuff as far as that kind of goes. It's just kind of another comfortable one like Stevie Wonder that I was talking about before. It's just kind of the concept about it. But I, I do like the concept of just getting a lot of these. Like this album is just chock full of some of these. That's kind of the thing. Lost It. Lost It is a pounding stock night venue kind of night. And I feel like this is a craze night, but it's a familiar craze night. So if you go to like your standard spot often enough, if you're going to that same club five, six times out the week, it's just kind of like, you know, if you've been there Tuesday, this is kind of like the Wednesday cut, something like that. This kind of like the next day where it's like you're still going here, but it's just kind of the concept of this. This kind of routine. This kind of more of like a routine kind of club song where it's just like, hey, you know, we're going to meet up here for the night and just kind of kick it, have another standard night of just getting crunk and that type of stuff it's just a lot more familiar with the sound of how that goes i, I like some of these songs because some of these just kind of have like such a roundabout and kind of routine kind of feel about them but it is pretty crazy some of these are pretty crazy but it's just the very it, it's very varietized in like the night venue kind of feel and aspects of it which i do like there's just a ton of these as far as that kind of goes so Free Breaks, the title track, is like a glittery kind of club hit. Just a nice early bird 2010s trap hit. It's got a new sense of sound. It's kind of the concept about it where this was kind of morphing the sounds as far as that kind of went, as far as talking about what was getting ready to happen. And just the concept of like the early bird kind of stages of it. I did like some of these just because I feel like just a few months before when you go back, you turn the book back to like Gucci Mane's The Appeal, George's Most Wanted from late 2010. Like some of the beats on there when you think of like Haterade and Gucci Time and some of those type ones, they just sound a lot different from what Free Bricks was kind of doing in the title track and Stevie Wonder. And I mean, Gucci Mane really sounds more like on kind of like a future type kick and Future was kind of doing this. That's the thing. You talk about Future like he kind of was having this sort of sound with the stuff he did with YC and Dirty Sprite and some of that type stuff. And he had another mixtape. Like I know that there's some more future mixtapes. I want to say he dropped one in like the summer of 2011, like June or something like that. He dropped one in September 2011 and he dropped one in like June or something like that. But Future really dropped like three or even four mixtapes in 2011. So he had a lot of stuff. This was one of those, but this kind of, this really felt like more routine for Future because he was onto that sort of sound. This was just kind of the concept that Gucci Mane just pretty abruptly had a style switch and he took to it like a fish to water as far as that kind of went. These are just kind of the concept of some of these that this was kind of the way that went because there just weren't, I learned that Future did drop mixtapes in 2010, so he was kind of around in 2010 also, but I don't know the sound of what, if that was, I don't know if that was the sound that was happening back then. It was this kind of the concept that there was this kind of a switch for Gucci Mane as far as that kind of went, but I do like this song. It's just a glittery kind of club hit, definite, kind of sparkly kind of one. It's just kind of similar to like, uh, nasty but just a little bit more glittery than that one it's kind of the concept a little bit more sparkly than go and a little bit less horrorcore but still kind of flashy as dead people as far as that kind of goes and that sort of concept so yeah that would be about the highlights on here so that would be about the highlights to talk about the four songs i didn't enjoy on here which would be floss in radical on some other shit and go for it like i really didn't like the belly type beat and kind of the tinkering belly type beat and on some other shit that this was not too attractive of one and uh, like radical was an okay one that was trying to be more of like a turned up kind of song but it just didn't quite pull it off as well it was kind of one like this album this mixtape does have some bubblers and boilers on here with somewhat of a ravenous energy but a lot of this theme of this project is just kind of comfortable nights at nightclubs and that type of stuff like and with the exception of maybe nasty with the exception of nasty and can't turn me down there's not an overabundance of like hype songs but radical is trying to do it but i couldn't quite appreciate that one as much. And then Flossen. Flossen just didn't have quite a glossy enough production as far as that kind of went. That one was just not enough of a highlight. And then Go For It kind of had like a gleaming kind of synthy type beat on here. But it just did, that was one that I'm surprised I didn't like. That was kind of one that I probably would have liked. It was similar to Nasty and like go for it was similar to nasty but it just didn't quite compare as much it was a real kind of synthy one really felt like a glittery and glitzy kind of club highlight but it was not quite as attractive as like 
nasty and some of the better club bops on here kind of were like stevie wonder and lost it and some of those it just felt like it just kind of had like a more looming kind of like this sprawling kind of energy that didn't quite pull it off quite in the context that it probably needed to i mean it was a decent beat but it just was not quite the beat loop was just not as catchy as it needed to be so it's this kind of thing but me liking eight and a half songs out of 13 on this project i'm gonna go ahead and give this mixtape like an 8.75 out of 10 almost gets a nine if i would have liked can't turn me down more which i'm on the fence about but it's just kind of one that's an in-betweener kind of song i mean i think i probably will at some stage probably like it more just kind of the concept of just listening to it and convincing myself to like it more but i look at the concept of this this kind of one i mean it's 8.75 it's just the concept just right on the cusp of being a nine i mean it's a pretty vintage mixtape it's a pretty vintage mixtape it has a number of stock hits on here and it's kind of like an early bird kind of page turner for the style that was going to go on to morph things a lot later this is both two cats in their prime doing some good convincing kind of cuts and gucci man like i said had a pretty direct 180 from the stuff that he was doing just six months before and he took to the style pretty well in future this is just another victory lap for him kind of in that sense of the sounds that would just continue to be dominant so it's just kind of the concept of getting that they both like there is a lot of auto tune to talk about that future does some of the hooks on here and there's a lot of auto tune on here a lot of auto tune kind of 2010s trap type hooks just in their early stages and a lot of these are pretty good they're just real drug addled and kind of oriented towards that just as far as that kind of goes just with that sort of pitch just i mean some of these are pretty catchy just to talk about a few of these like nasty and stevie wonder and some of those type ones that just kind of have that particular type feel lamborghini is another nice one was just kind of the concept that there's just some good kind of mixtures that kind of have that style so it's just kind of a page turner of a project just on the cusp of getting a nine it's really good and easy the fact that this mixtape is free i would just go ahead and fuck with it if you haven't or just refresh your memory as far as how some of that kind of goes just to be able to mess with it again and get towards it i would have to say the social score i'll give like a nine out of ten though because i do feel like quite a bit of this album has stock full of hits and even some of the songs i didn't recommend do have some night orientation towards it this really feels like factory and vanilla and stock kind of nights at like places like this strip clubs nightclubs maybe not so much dance clubs but just re regular kind of standard night venues out and just that sort of concept getting some wings and hamburgers and that type of stuff as far as that kind of goes just those sorts of pitches just good orientation towards that so it's really kind of flashy in that sort of style and then in terms of the future like gucci main is dropping an album in october this year and then future is supposedly working on some stuff he I, i'm not terribly sure what he's going to do but he's kind of got something in the wings he has like a project with like metro booming and stuff like that so there's some stuff on the way but this is just an overall pretty excellent highlight